Hey guys, Half Chrome. We've got the best drones of 2018 that you can buy for under $200. Prices are falling and that's changed things quite a bit. So keep watching and we'll tell you what you can get for under 200 bucks. All right, so you can see we've tested a few drones uh, and we've come up with what we like the best under $200. Now, uh, we're gonna start right here with my favorite. This is the Unique Breeze. Now, once upon a time, this drone was a lot more than $200, uh, but uh, with the release of the DJI Spark and some uh, really nice drones, the price has fallen to under 200 bucks or even some packages you can get a remote. Um, what do I like about this drone? Well, it has your one access mechanical gimbal um, and it will do some optical image stabilization electronically. So it'll smooth out your video when you're flying, um, which is really nice. The camera is 4K. Now, really, uh, I don't recommend you shooting 4K because it doesn't stabilize. So um, you'll get a, a nice 1080p picture uh, with optical image stabilization. Kind of along the same lines, we've got the Zero Tech Dobby. It's a little bit smaller, which I like, uh, than the Breeze, um, but you cannot control the camera angle uh, from your phone, so that kind of stinks, but it does fold up, and you can actually throw this one in your pocket. Now, uh, these other drones I have on the table are things that you can pretty much get whenever you want. These two, I'm guessing, are gonna be going away soon. With their drop in prices, you're gonna wanna snag these up while they're still available. Okay, uh, let's talk about some of these other drones, right? So these two to the right and the left of the Breeze and the Dobby, also GPS drones like these two. Um, the difference is their cameras aren't nearly as nice, um, but you will get an increased range of up to a thousand meters, um, which these guys, you fly on your phone. So uh, the range is gonna be limited there. The cameras, are, like I said, are not as nice, uh, but they do come with remote control. So the precision that you get for either one of these drones is a little better. Which one do I like more? I'm gonna go with the Hubson. Now, is it a perfect drone? No, it has its glitches. We had some issues with the remote. Um, Hubson has some quality controls issues there. Some people have, had, uh, have said they've had issues with the GPS on the Bugs 2 model. Um, uh, it does seem that MJX has addressed a lot of those issues. But uh, either one of these is a pretty solid drone for under 200 bucks if you're looking for something with a little bit more range and a little bit more precision and control. You could even attach your own action camera if you weren't satisfied with the cameras on either one of these. Now, I've got two more drones in the back here. So let's talk about this SEMA X8 model. This is actually a limited edition that uh, they produced for Costco and a handful of other stores. Um, the X8S versions have these uh, clip-on legs, which is super nice. Um, this one has the HD action camera, which is also nice. There's an X8 HG version if you're interested in that. Um, it won't have the snap-on legs, but really I recommend you pick up one of these SEMA X8s and replace the camera. You can do better uh, than the one that they provide you uh, with the drone. Um, the issue with this one is it's uh, brush motors. Everything else here is brushless, meaning they're uh, more efficient and uh, more powerful. But the real fun about these SEMA drones is these things are almost indestructible. We've crashed this one a handful of times. We have a couple others. Um, we were even shooting them out of the sky with paintball guns and uh, they're a lot of fun. Um, you can fly these things into walls, it seems and they'll keep uh, keep ticking. Not that I recommend you fly it into anything. Then over here, I've got kind of the uh, more powerful version of this drone. This is the Force One F100 Ghost, um, very similar to the MJX Bugs 3. Um, this is like the SEMA X8 on steroids. So we have these powerful brushless motors. Um, it uh, comes with an action camera, which is what's nice about the Force One version versus the MJX version. Um, but we've even modified ours to carry a uh, Wakara two-axis gimbal and an action camera, right? So this thing has a lot of power, it's fast, um, and it's a lot of fun to fly. So you can pick this up uh, or this one up and add your own cameras, um, and you're gonna do better than anything out here if you've got a really nice GoPro or something like that. So these are the best drones that you can get right now in 2018 for under $200. Again, my recommendation would probably be this unique breeze. And then after that, actually I'd probably go right here to this Force One F100 uh, because you can add and customize this one yourself if you so choose.
unless of course portability is key, then uh, you might want to take a look at this Dobby. Now, one little tidbit on the Dobby, we were able to fly it on our iPhone 7, iPhone 6, but not on our iPhone 8. We contacted Zerotech to see uh, what was up with that. Still haven't heard back from them. So these are what we believe are the best drones of 2018. Like I said before, prices on uh, these drones are falling, specifically the Dobby and the Breeze. Um, with uh, new drones being released almost every day. Uh, now, we've got some in more information on these drones on our website, halfchrome.com, and specifically on these and how they compare to each other. There are some affiliate links on there. Clicking them helps us out and has no cost to you, so uh, we'd love your support. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on halfchrome.com.